Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Snoop D O Double G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh my God, it just hit me. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I was so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it. Uh oh, Diddy might be swimming in some trouble, trouble. And when they say everything done in the dark will come to the light eventually, they weren't lying because this happened 27 years ago and is now coming to the light with confirmation. Now, there has always been some chatter and suspicion that Diddy and Biggie had a role in Tupac's early departure, but it was just hearsay. And now verbatim via the sun, this says, the man accused of the offing of Tupac Shakur has made shock claims that hip hop star Diddy orchestrated and paid $1 million for it. Keefy D, who appeared in court in Las Vegas over the offing yesterday, has claimed several times that Diddy, real name Sean Combs, asked him to take out Pac and record label boss tonight. Representatives for Diddy did not comment when asked about the allegations, but previously Combs has dismissed claims that he was involved in Tupac's departure as nonsense. The US Sun can reveal how the Compton gangster, real name Dwayne Davis, has made the allegation in his book, in social media interviews, and even in a secret police interview with the LAPD. Another former gangster from the era, James McDonald, previously known as Mob James, has also confirmed to the US Sun that he heard rumors about Diddy and others at death row putting a price on Suge and Tupac's head, as the New York-based rap artist was terrified of the record label boss. In an exclusive interview, James, who used to work as a security enforcer for Death Row Records, said everyone had a price on their head at the time, as the war between the Bad Boy Records on the East Coast and Death Row Records on the West heated up. He said Diddy was scared of Shook. New York wasn't going to come down there and try to find Shook. That wouldn't have never happened. So when it happened with Tupac, our side had to feel like, okay, we can't just let that one go. They was going back and forth tit for tat. So I believe that it got too big for Pac and Biggie because not one of them seen it coming. Not one of them thought it was going to come that way. And like I said before, Puffy was so scared of Shug, he had to put something somewhere to get Shug out the way. James, who is now reformed and helps younger people leave the gang life, added, A lot of guys had prices on their heads, so us being where we were from and what was going on, we had to step our game up and do the same-ish. So at that time, taking a life didn't matter. It didn't matter. Beating the mother effer A didn't matter. Nothing mattered, but we did what we were supposed to do. In a recording of an LAPD interview, Keefe appears to tell detectives that Diddy called a gangster associate of theirs called Eric Von Zip shortly after Tupac's offing to ask if they were responsible. Keefe could not be prosecuted for the claims he made to LAPD due to a legal agreement he had in place. Keefe claims in a recording that when Diddy was told it was their entourage who shot Tupac, he was happy as hell. In another LAPD audio clip, Keefe then claimed Diddy paid the fee for the hit to Zip, who kept the money for himself. In his book, Compton Street Legend, he claims that Diddy, known back then as Puffy or Puff Daddy, ordered the hit one day while they were out in New York eating pastrami sandwiches and drinking pink champagne. Not pink champagne. Keefe said Diddy told him, I need to speak to you, big dog, and the pair went to the side to talk. He wrote in the book, I'm able to smell and see fear. Puffy was full of fear. Keefe then alleges that Diddy said, I have a couple of problems I need to be handled. Big CEO, Suge Knight, and Pop. The gangster said, he replied, that's not a problem, we can make that happen. In the book, Keefe explains Diddy had issues with Pac after he released the diss track, hit him up. <laughs> that song made Puffy mad. Hit him up, we not gonna respond, somebody's gonna get hurt. That thing hurt to this day. Damn Diddy, that's crazy. And 50 Cent, who loves to react to certain people, has reacted to this and posted a picture of Pac and Shook in the vehicle, captioned, Damn, so Pac got lined by Brother Love? LOL. Time to lawyer up. Shit might get sticky. Yikes. But what do y'all think the future looks like for Mr. Love? And do y'all really believe that he's really responsible for this, especially based on the things that Pac said on a diss track alone? What's on bad boys? Niggas f for life. We bad boy kill. Do y'all think it was enough to scare Diddy into doing such an unlovable thing? We want to know your thoughts overall, so leave them below. Like and share this video, subscribe to this channel, and if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang. PetsyBlog.com, signing out.